Welcome back. Last time we were looking at the beginning of this little Mark sandwich. This is something Mark often does. He begins telling a story and then something else happens and then he concludes the first story. So there's like the bread and then the, the meat in the middle. Last time we were looking at uh, the bread of this sandwich, which is where uh, a man called Jairus has come to Jesus and he's pleading with him to come and visit his daughter who's very sick and about to die. So as Jesus is on his way, uh, we get to the meat of the sandwich and we see another little scenario. And that's where we pick things up uh, in verse 24. So Jesus went with him. A large crowd followed and pressed round. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned round in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered. And yet you can ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and, trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. While Jesus uh, was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus uh, the synagogue leader, your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother teaching them more? And that's where the, the second part of the story picks up again. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, great, it's a great sandwich, isn't it? Because mm. in one st sense, you're going from the step of this woman who, who has had this bleeding for 12 years and tried all the doctors. Yeah. Uh, we'll investigate that a bit more in a minute. Mm. Um, uh, to being uh, healed. And then the next step uh, is, is death. That Jesus dealt with, which we saw last time. Mm. But this is a really very, very beautiful story. And I think people can get a little bit muddled with this because here is this woman. She, she touches him. She's had this bleeding. You've got to remember that um, because she was bleeding, she was unclean. Constantly unclean. So she's constantly unclean under Jewish law and actually shouldn't really have been in the crowd in the first place. Right. So she's very nervous about being there. Yeah. Um, she seems to be, I guess, a fairly rich woman to some degree because she's able to go to doctors and try to get help. And none of that's worked. But she shouldn't really be there. No. A woman bleeding like this. She has spent all her money as well now. So yeah. perhaps if she was rich, she's now yeah. poor. Yeah, sorry. I, I meant that. She, she, yeah. she, seemed to have, she seemed to have money that she to be has with, yeah. put in this. But it's wasted all her money. It's brought her low. Um, and there's no really hope for this woman, and she's an unclean woman, mm. uh, and yet she's in the crowd. So she's got to do this sort of secretly. Um, I don't think it means Jesus didn't know who touched her. No. I, 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 because we know he knows things. I think he's drawing her out, and he's drawing the disciples out. Yeah. And I, I do love to think, as he's looking around the crowd, he's giving her time. Absolutely. Um, and I wonder, I always wonder at these things that as he's looking around, he might have just got her eye for a half a second, for half a second yeah. and, and, and was basically saying, come on, you can come to me. Yeah. And then looked around again until she had the courage to sort of come yeah. out. It is very, very beautiful. This, yeah. Isn't yeah. it? Again. Yeah. Yeah. He treats her so, so sort of delicately, doesn't he? Um, and the way he calls her daughter in the end. I mean, this is an older woman. It, I guess traditionally he would he would call her something else, more respectful, or even actually if she's unclean, perhaps like, what are you doing? Get away from me! But you know, who is who is a daughter uh, if you're the if you're the father mm. of that? You know, so what is Jesus saying? He is here. Um, yeah, but it is very and, and again, it does remind us of the other story that the sandwich is in because it's the right. daughter, isn't it? You yeah. Know? yeah. Um, so, so here's this woman bleeding, uh, she, she's unclean, uh, there's only really one place that she can think about going to. Mm. She doesn't want to make Jesus unclean, so she touches the hem of his garment, because right. if she touched him, he would be cut, 
become unclean. But he is more than happy to become unclean to make people clean. Yeah. And that's the cross, isn't it? Yeah. That's this that's that's what he's all about. Yeah. He is happy to take people's uncleanness yeah. to make us clean. And so uh he makes sure that she comes out. She comes out of the yeah. crowd. And uh, I mean, the disciples are all, what do you mean who touched you? And, uh, you know, there's hundreds of people touching you. What are you talking about? Yeah. But he knows that there's faith here, doesn't he? Yes. That's what he knows. Yeah. yeah. And it's a great, you're, you, yeah, you're right. It's a great picture of the cross. And he, you'll often do this. You'll often get everyone's eyes on the cripple or the lame person or the unclean person. It makes me think of the man with the shriveled hand in the middle of the synagogue. Mm. He was someone who probably would have been shunned, you know, as a sinner. Look, God's given you a crippled hand because you're filthy. But yet Jesus makes him stand up in front of everyone and uh, does a beautiful thing and sort of heals him. So it's, it's Jesus often wants to display um, this this kind of hum humble coming to him to be healed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I quite like this because... Um, there's no sort of, um, in the Bible, there's no sort of, you know, people, I guess what I'm trying to say is people come to Jesus in very different ways, don't mm. they? Some, some come up to him like Jairus and they make, that, they make their plea. Others are very nervous and, you know, just want to, a touch. Yeah. But, you know, one, one tiny bit of faith, one, you know, I want to come to Jesus. He's coming to you, isn't he? Yeah. He's pulling you out of the crowd. Right. Out of all of the crowd, he's the one you. You. He's uh, all of the crowds. He's the one. No, uh, she's the one that he's interested in. Yeah. Um. You know, he 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 wants to see people trusting him and and believing in him, and and it, it's just it is again, it's just so good. Yeah. Is it Nicodemus who goes up in the tree? Uh, that's uh, uh, um, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Yeah, he goes up in the tree, uh, and again, yes, because he wants to see Jesus, and Jesus pulls him out as well, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. So yeah, 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 he's exactly like that. And then um, uh, you know, a daughter, you know, uh, go in peace. He says, "Your faith has healed you. Mm. Uh, go in peace and be freed from your suffering." Yeah. What an amazing sentence for the Savior to say to anyone. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's something about this faith, isn't there? It also makes me think of the um, Roman centurion. Uh, no, the, the, yeah, the Roman centurion comes to him and he says, my servant's ill. And Jesus says, well, all right, I'll come with you. And he says, no, you don't have to come with me. Yeah. Just say the word. Yeah. And, and she seems to have this faith that Jesus is able to somehow in himself heal her. Um, and that's the faith that makes her well. And she's drawn out, and 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 it's a, it's a wonderful thing. So there's the there's the Luke, Mark, Mark, the Mark sandwich. You've got this uh, Jairus's daughter um, uh, calling the ambulance, if you like, Jesus. He stops on the way and heals this uh, woman that's uh, been bleeding for twelve years, and she's cleansed, and life is different now. All her money has gone on this problem. Now she can. She's rich in many ways, isn't she? Because the, yeah. the flow of money as well as the flow of blood has stopped. And then he comes into this place of death and he wakes this teenager up from death. It's a beautiful thing. So we hope that you are looking and enjoying uh, and understanding and coming towards this Jesus in faith.